Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here today back on R Factor 2 where I'm continuing on with this full week's worth of racing around the Hungara ring in what is a recreation of the 2020 Formula 1 Hungary Grand Prix. So today, Formula 3. Yesterday I actually ran in the Formula 2 category, managed to grab a second. That was one heck of a race. Started down in 12th, uh, came through the field, got a little bit lucky with a safety car, got into a little bit of contact with my teammate on the, on the final lap, trying to race for the win. So yeah, definitely go check that out. That was a load of fun. That was in my sort of previous video. But today, stepping down to the category below Formula 2, Formula 3, of course. 11 laps is the race length. It is approximately half of what it is in real life. Setup-wise, I've just sort of built a setup or built on a setup that I've had uh, sort of over the last couple of weeks. Changed it a little bit to do with the diff just for this track, try and help that sort of drive off the corner. I felt it was getting a little bit too loose on throttle, but yeah, now as you can see, starting off dead last, I crashed in qualifying like the special unit that I am. So we've got a lot of work to do in the race, only 11 laps to do it. So we're gonna be working hard to try come through the field, just make sure everything we get feels good, everything's set. And yeah, without any further ado, set off on this formation lap. Alrighty, here we go, Formula 3 on R Factor 2 around the Hungara ring. Lights out, decent getaway. Oh my god, this is going to be nuts. 30 cars in this field. 30 AI drivers as well, so let's see if we can just grab a couple into turn 1, try not to lose that front wing. Oh. Contact from behind. Decent first corner. I mean, we've gone all the way up to 21st. So, still a long way to go, though. Try, try and squeeze. The oh. thing is, the AI in this mod are definitely, of all the mods I've raced, sort of on R Factor 2, this, they are the craziest <laughs> in this mod. I don't know why, but it's, it's pass or be passed, virtually. Oh, don't come back on the truck and hit me. Far out, scared the living daylights out of me. I saw that car go off, and all of a sudden, I see its nose going, <laughs> nose going pointing straight, straight at me. Oh, it's so hard to concentrate and talk. Just try and get through this first lap. Oh, understeer, cold tyres. Uh, it's really slippery on the Astro. So this mod utilizes DRS and the AI as well know how to use it, which is not always the case in RFX2. Elbows out. Got to be aggressive on this first couple of laps. Don't want to wait for the field to sort of spread out. Let's see, we've gone all the way up to sort of 18th. It's been a great first lap. Carved up a third of the field already. Practice, I had decent pace. I just fenced it in qualifying. Just don't, <laughs> couldn't be bothered restarting the session. All right, come on, let's go. Oh, that was a huge dive bomb. Did not think I was going to pull that one up. Oh my God, now I'm three wide. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, I'm pulling the hell out of that. I'm not losing the front wing. Pretty much almost lost it on that. No, don't you dare. Oh, okay, that was a bit over aggressive, Joseph. Rude. On. Go up to 17th. Track limits. Watch out for that. I mean, there's no stewards or anything that's going to enforce it on me, but I like to try and keep it realistic. Oh, the second curb is nasty. Okay, come on. Sliding it around too much. Fan is probably blowing on my mic, but change that. Now the Hungara ring, described by many as the sort of Monaco without walls, because it is just nothing but corners. Oh, around the outside. Oh, almost got it. Yeah, it's just yeah, nothing but corners and maybe one straight that you could properly pass on. No, having none of that. None of that. Anyway, yeah, here on the second lap, or third lap, I should say. We should have DRS this lap, but I think maybe next lap. Come on, broke way too early there. 
It's so hard going from a Formula 2 car to a Formula 3 car to a Porsche Super Cup to a Formula 1 car over sort of one weekend on the same track. Takes me a while to sort of get in the groove. Ah, don't do that. That is nicht gut. Yeah. Elbows out big time on these first couple of laps. Oh, oh Spinner, don't come back on the track. Get one though. Oh, his curves really grab onto you and sort of pull you across. Okay, we're halfway through the field. Still got plenty of laps left though. Ah, nope. Fucking piece of shit. Why it does that? Oh man! All right, still no DRS. Maybe, maybe it's just never going to be enabled. Maybe the stewards have had enough of these overtakes already. <laughs> it's working, qualifying, and practice. I don't know why it's not on now. Come on. Oh wait, no, it is working. I just saw it. I don't know. I just forgot to use it. <laughs> Oops. So usually it comes up with a uh, sort of notification saying you know, DRS is enabled or flap system is enabled. So much better than me off that final corner. Really struggling off of that. Yeah, so I'm in the DRS zone now. Just can't get off these corners. No drive. Front tyres are wearing the air down low 80s. It's a soft tyre this weekend, so it's taking a bit of a beating. Can't compete with that. That's so OP. <laughs> oh my days. Anyway, my match is about halfway there. Just way overcooked that one. Damn, I had DRS there as well. I don't think the uh, Red Bull cars got that much pace compared to the guys that were in front of him. Thank you. 
starting to fall off the pace a little bit here. Struggling. Need to get back within that second. No, I didn't get it. Damn it. That's hurt us a bit. Still fine in front of us, which is good. wide in front of us. That's nuts. No, at least we're back in the DRS zone for this lap at least. These guys keep fighting, that's going to help us out quite a bit. Behind me is gonna have a go into turn one. I can feel it. Let's see if I can outbreak him. Oh, definitely outbreak him. I broke myself as well. Oh, jeez. Vicious curve, that one. Stuck in this battle for sort of the mid pack. Oh, I'm really losing that front tire. This is not good. That vine's catching up. Oh man. Struggling. Definitely overused this tire way too much in this race. How did I not get DRS? Am I? God damn it. Nine. I'm 
suffering from a load of understeer here. It's going to be a tough final two laps. Behind me, didn't go near us. That's good. All right, final lap. Let's just bring this baby home. Top 15, I'll take that after starting dead last. Basically, been here for the last oh, eight, nine laps. <laughs> See if we can hold on to it. Just overworked these tyres early on in the race and just got nothing left. chucking it around now. This car doesn't really like to be thrown around too much, well this mod I should say. Oh man. Oh that's way too much curb. I just find it really inconsistent, the grip levels. I keep, you know, maybe steering at that slightly bit more or a little bit more steering angle applied when I get on the throttle and it's just does different things it feels like every time I just need more time in it I suppose but we're gonna come around the final corner to finish in 15th so 30th to 15th had a little bit of a race in the mid pack there but definitely yeah I feel used up too much that tire so you look 50 yeah down to 58 on the left front so sort of struggle to really continue on with that momentum we had early on but anyway thanks guys for tuning in hope you enjoyed that one stay tuned tomorrow we're going to hit up the porsche super cup that's going to be a load of fun i uh, did do one race in that category around the red bull ring my sort of previous real life race recreation in the virtual world but yeah that, that category is a lot more fun in the sim racing world than what it is in real life because in real life it can be quite boring but anyway yeah stay tuned for that and until then catch you guys later